It is at 650. Wait, is it 650 or was it a later time? Hold on. Hold on. Uh, oh, 650 new rule. All right, yeah, it's at 650. Uh, I think this is taking place before Ken and Jessica are killed. Or during. Probably during. Hi. Even though Kinzo had heard the success, his emotions did not waver. The expression on his face as he gazed out the window was a smile, as though his opponent in a chess game had just made a, a spectacular move. It was unimaginable that this expression could appear on a father who had just lost many children at once. ゴードとカノンが警察へ電話しておりますそれから親方様に以後のご指示を仰ぐようにとも仰せつかっておりますがいかがいたしますかすでにこの島は現世から切り離されているのだ電話などなんの役にも立たぬわやめさせますか ルーレットが終わるまで何をして過ごすも自由だ。好きにさせてやれ。はい。そのローザ様には何とお伝えいたしましょうか。何をして過ごすも自由だと言っておる。歌王が踊ろうが。首を吊ろうが握りたぎる大釜に飛び込むも自由。十三人が死ぬまで好きに過ごせばよいのだ。そんなに退屈ならば、なぜに六かける九が四十二になることも考えていればいい。Is it six times nine fifty three? 54 <laughs> Shut up. I said 54. <laughs> All right. I think that I don't I, I think um that's meant to be written like that. <laughs> oh my god. How did I Okay, sometimes I'm a dumbass, okay? Well, it's quite probably that I'm a dumbass from how I couldn't pronounce any names. <laughs> Shannon cowered in fright at this sudden rage. Genji made a gesture as though telling her not to say too much. Shannon couldn't help but regret speaking out of turn. だが、自由にしてよいのはお前たちもだ。源氏、そして社門も今日までよく私に尽くしてくれた。もったいない言葉です。ですがその私どもは。親方様にお仕えすることを誓った家具です。いついかなる時でもお側に控えております。最後にその時まで。うん。ウォッシングゴールド。シンバロ。お前たちにはすべてを話しておきたい。シャノン遺言を書く筆行を頼む源氏はいつもの酒を頼むえはい南条 had often recommended that Kinzo write a will because of his health but each time Kinzo had gone mad with rage since that time Will 
had been the word Kinto took most exception at, because that word had come out of his, out of his own mouth. Shannon couldn't help but doubting her ears for an instant. Shannon hurriedly prepared the side table and some writing paper. Yenji also began preparing his usual green devil, just as he was ordered. I do want to try that green devil, I'm gonna be honest here, I do want to try drinking that. Mm. なに <laughs> For a while, Kinso considered where he should start speaking from, striding all around the room with his hands behind his back. We're gonna get cut off right before we hear this backstory. I'm calling it. Shannon, Call it. Cutting him off right there. Oh man, I kind of wanted to hear that story though. I kind of want to hear the story, but we have to go back to Battler. We took enough time to regain our call. And we each swore to our parents that we definitely catch the killer. It would be a lie to say we weren't still bitter. Even now, if we gave in just a little, we'd feel like going on a rampage like Jessica and resorting to some kind of violence. <laughs> I'm sorry. According to what Goda-san said after he got back, right now, Kenan-kun was looking after Jessica. Apparently, she was still emotionally high-strung. So... ありがとう。ここはこのまま残すべきです。私も何時を先生に同感です。このようなところにいつまでもおられますと、お体に触ります。戻り、紅茶をお入れしましょう。そうね。私もそれに賛成よ。バトラ君も上司君も、もういい。ここは閉め
But we hadn't been adult enough to wait for that. I had investigated the chapel in my own way, trying to catch the culprit before the police got here. And what I figured out was, frustratingly, nothing. I hadn't been able to find a single hint. <laughs> I was wondering when we were going to get a mention of Maria because I was thinking she was still in there. Oh. So, Maria, Sama. まいりましょう。ここは肩を冷やします。父さん、母さん、今日まで spoke his last words of farewell to his parents. After seeing that, Violet followed suit. Oyaji. Taken on their own, their faces made it look like they were sleeping, which made it made it all the more bitter. It wasn't a hard slap, but I hit this bone right here with my knuckle, not hurt enough. That was good enough punishment. I forgot that the, that was there. What?ちょっと悪い落書きだね。犯人が書いたのかな。when the door to the chapel was closed, we learned about that creepy graffiti for the first time. これは悪魔を呼び出す魔法人か何かだったのか。これは太陽の七の魔法人だよ。そんなのも知らないんだね。あいた。こら。<笑><笑> その気持ち悪い笑いをやめなさいといつも言ってるでしょ。マリア、続けろ。何の意味があるんだ。肉体的あるいは精神的な束縛から逃れるための魔法人だよ。そして演習部に書かれているヘブライ語は、主は私の
これは実に魔女的な犯行だね詳しいのねマリアの受け売りええそんなとこです礼拝堂かジーズクライス・サスペッション The first note you made my spine like pop out my back, Jesus Christ. Hey, I don't need a Zaza Yon de Korosta. Rosa was a Conore Hydonia. Nanica, Tokubets Naimi to Ka Tanska. Tokubets Naimi, do you eat me? Ya, so no. Ningen Lokunin the style. Harbour Kokoni Hakobi Konda. こんな凝ったデコレーションをした。Or were they in there to begin with? But wait a second. Wouldn't that make Rosa very suspicious? Since she was in the chapel. But I don't think she did it. That's way too simple of a mystery. Because she was also in the chapel with the other six who died. There were eight people in the chapter. Chapel, not chapter, chapel. The six who died Rosa and Beatrice. And I'm gonna point this out now Rosa didn't kill them. And so didn't Beatrice. Oh, yeah. That's a bold claim, but I don't think Beatrice killed them. In this chapel? I don't think she did it. I don't think she did it. She might have. She might have with the. She might have with the Seven Deadly Sins. Or the Stakes of Purgatory? I think they're the Stakes of Purgatory. But. I don't think she did. I don't think she was responsible. She's responsible for the Stakes of pur Purgatory, I can say that. She's responsible for the Stakes, most likely. But for this murder in the chapel, I don't think it was her. Then, who could it be? I'm gonna let Battler speak soon. I'm gonna let Battler speak soon. But I wanna be in theory mode real quick. I wanna go into theory mode. Actually, this song works right now, so I'm gonna keep it playing. So, I'm in theory mode right now. And I'm just gonna say this now Jessica is innocent. So is George, Bowler, and Maria. I think those four are innocent. So will、um, Rosa and Beatrice. Leaving behind the servants and Dr. Nanjo. Now, if we're going from the point of view that Nanjo is the good witch helping them, he's also innocent, leaving it to be either Genji, Shannon, Cannon, Goda, and Kumasawa. Kumasawa, I feel. Is the most suspicious because we haven't even seen her. We haven't even seen her in a while. So she's the most suspicious of them all. But would that also be too simple of a mystery to go with? Though, she could definitely have had hand in the murder of the six. Or, as I stated previously, she could be working with Rosa. Her and Rosa work together to kill the other six. But, this might be a totally different scenario. So, I'm gonna leave Rosa as an innocent person for now. But Kumasawa, I don't think you're that innocent. Gota! I have actually no clue what, what I think about you right now. <laughs> I have no clue if I should think that you're innocent or not. So, I'm gonna leave you be. Cannon? The thing is, he wouldn't hurt Jessica, but. Suffice to say, he wouldn't go after the other six. Hell, I made this. I may also think that Shannon could also have done the murder, murders this time as well. She has no close connection to any of these six other than George. So Shannon could have been responsible for the six deaths. So could have been Cannon. Because. I made this mistake in the first chapter. Just because I like them and I think they're innocent kids. I put them off the sus suspect list, for which I'm not gonna do anymore. No, you two are on the sus suspect list. Because, from the people who were killed, 
I don't see either of you two being that innocent because for all the six that are dead right now, I could definitely see many reasons as to why both Shannon and Cannon would kill them. Hell, even Genji could have carried out the murders. So the most suspicious right now is Genji, Shannon, Cannon, and Kubasawa. With Gona, I think he's just out of the loop all of this. <laughs> Even though he might be working with Klaus, but Klaus has been dead, so... Yeah, I don't think Klaus picked his death this time. <laughs> I think um, it suffice to say that Klaus did not pick his death this time, so the person he's working with, Gona, probably um, didn't kill him. <laughs> So, I think going out of the service seems to be the most innocent, with the most suspe suspicious ones being Kumasawa, Shannon, and Cannon for this murder. Though, this could be related to, this could be related to Beatrice's um, stakes of purgatory, but I'm going to say it's not, and this is an isolated incident compared to what happened to Jessica and Cannon. This is a separated incident. Though, who can say that whole scene with the stakes was real? Was it real? Was it fake? Did the alchemation of their hopes that something unnatural is going on became real and killed them? The ideas are swirling, and with the power as a battler and the good witch Dr. Nanjo, we shall learn the truth in these next six episodes. I think I'm putting, um, Nanjo onto a higher um, pedestal than he probably will be for the rest of the series, but he could be the good witch. He could be the good witch that is trying to help the family. <laughs> Come on, you sexy motherfucker. Just live for me, man. Live for me. Wow. Um. <laughs> Hopefully that'll get cut out. Please cut that out, future me. ここに6人を呼んでからここに運び込んだのかは断定できないが。どちらにしても大きな手間がかかる。Well, what about the blood? That would be the biggest concern. Wouldn't there be blood trails around the area if they were carried there? 犯人にはここで6人に死んでほしいどんな理由があった そうですな。あんなことったことをすれば、警察が来たとき、不利な証拠を見つけられる可能性が非常に高いでしょう。それを犯人が見越さなかったはずもない。なら犯人はどうしてわざわざそんな手間をかけてまでこんなことをしたん
Maybe this chapel is the home of Beatrice. Maybe. Maybe. でも、お化け屋敷のような感じで、不すき見悪く思っておりました。お父様自身全く近づかなかったのに、なぜか年に何度か使用人たちに大掃除をさせていたわ。うん。常に清潔にしていて、まるで一使用する時が来てもいいようにという感
But this time around, Shannon got lucky, and they chose the six that would not cause any problems for any of the servants to kill. Maybe except for Gota, but Gota's not involved with the plot. <laughs> but yes. Oh uh, yes, yes. This is actually, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. This is actually starting to make sense. This is starting to make sense. And maybe Nanjo could be involved, but he might be the good witch who doesn't know of Kinzo's alternative um, chess pieces. どう何にしろ。うっさんくさいね。どういう理由かわからないけれど。おじいさまにとってその南城先生の言っていた通り、George and Iki point to a relief with rusted gold letters on the arch above the door. It looked like some message was written there in English. The rush showed that the message had been there since construction. Uh, this door is opened only at probability of. <laughs> I gave up after I was unable to finish reading the first of the two lines. It looked like the others could read it properly. とにかく、これはすごいよ。<laughs> Maria? <laughs> oh my god, can she re Oh my god, can she read better than Valor? Oh my god. <英語くらい勉強しなよ。この程度読めないでよく高校に入れたね。笑> <laughs> それで、なんて書いてあるんだ。ざっとこんなところだよ。この扉は奇跡が起きない限り開かれない。あなたは奇跡が起きない限り祝福されない。おじいさまの魔術は天文学的低確率を基礎とする。つまりこの扉が開か
開かずの礼拝堂か魔女ベアトリーチは本当に魔女だったかはともかく何十年も前に実在した女性でおじい様の愛人だったとささやかれる人だこれはその私の勝手な想像ですが親方様はベアトリーチ様をきっと深く愛しておいでだったのでしょうしかしすでにご結婚されていて結ばれることはできなかったなるほどな死んだベアトリーチェが奇跡の魔法でよみがえれたならばあ様が死んでる今大手を振って結婚できるわけだんでこの礼拝堂で結ばれようとそういうメルヘンチックな話だというわけなのかなうんそう、高等無形の話とも思えないわね。お父様が今なお、ベアトリーチェを深く愛しているのは周知の事実。あと、気味が悪いとは言ったけれども、礼拝堂の内装はとても華やかだった気がするの。お父様が、死んだ愛人との結婚式を夢見て、この礼拝堂を建てたという想像は案外外れていないかもしれない。You know, you know, Klaus? Klaus might, might want to invest into, you know, Western style weddings. If he's planning on making the island into some sort of resort, why not invest in hosting Western style weddings? See? Big brain business move. Big brain business move. You have a chapel right here. And once Kinzo's out of the picture, you can easily have people rent out this chapel for a Western style wedding. この礼拝堂を建てたその当時からおじい様はこの教会を使うことは生涯ないことを知っていたのだろうね。でも何かの奇跡で魔女がよみがえることを祈った。そしてもしもその奇跡が起こったならここで結ばれようと思った。Wait, did any of the children marry there or no? I don't think they did. Yeah, I don't think they did. なるほど。そう考えると確かにここはベアトリーチェ様にとっても大変意味のある場所ということになりますね。決して開かれぬ礼拝堂と知りつつ。悲しい恋の話です Even though Goto-san's body was even bigger than mine, his words were touching. Everyone was silent, but it seemed that they agreed with that view. 開かぬ礼拝堂と知りながらそれでもなお奇跡の日を夢見ていたのでしょうな金蔵さんは若い日にはとてもロマンチストな方だったわかる気がします<笑>どうだろうなでも年に4回みんなで入って掃除してたんだろ何が赤ずだ俺たちだって現にこうして出入りしてるそれは奇跡なんかじゃねえ<笑>鍵を持ってきてカチャリとやって入ったただそれだけの話だぜバカバカしい<笑>でどういうことなどういうことって何がすか I thought all I'd done was mess around because I didn't like the way the atmosphere had turned all sappy. But Auntie Rosa had suddenly jumped on me with a really serious face. Auntie Rosa's face grew increasingly pale. She looked at the magic circle on the door, then at her hand, back and forth, back and forth. Do, do you know what happened, Rosa? 
。ねえ、ゴーダさん。この礼拝堂の鍵。これ、ゲンジさん言ってなかった。一本しかないって。マイル。<laughs> When a kid pulls a prank, it sometimes goes unnoticed by the adults, and the kid who did it loses heart. If one of those pranks catches someone later on, it makes that kid really happy. Maria's celebration just now looked a lot like that. That's why Beatrice. Oh my god! I mean, Beatrice, not Beatrice. <laughs> Oh my god! That's why Be Beatrice told Maria not to open it until the time comes! Holy shit! Okay, that's good. That was a good reveal. Yes. The key is not one of them. The key is the key of 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 the key. That you know of. Who done Kara? She only needs no key box in Taisa to be open. So you saw the sort of an acronym that the Genji Sama it down. Nani Monoka Soreo by Futo needed a Maria and Tewa Tastano. So I'm okay. No, well, I ever heard of making a copy of a key. なんだってってことはつまり<笑>おかしいじゃねえかよそんなバカなこれは妙な話になってくるどどういうことでしょうか私には何が何だかさっぱり私にもですどなたか説明してはいただけませんかな Gora and Nanjo's failure to understand definitely wasn't because they were stupid. They didn't know. They didn't know how long the only key to the chapel had been in Maria's hand. Auntie Rosa kept closing the chapel door, locking it, pulling out of the chest the lock. And opening it again. Her face was becoming pale again. Could there be a secret entrance in there? Like, okay, I'm liking the way this is written right now, but. Come on. There's so many ways that I can explain. How someone could easily have made had had made this locker room scenario. There's a lot of easy explanations as to how this locker room scenario occurred. This is good. Actually, I'm liking this. Though I keep on trying to point to different directions to you know see how this scene could both be debunked and also debunk myself. きのうのお昼前の話なのよおお、何ですとそれではおかしいではありませんかそうなんだ唯一の鍵は昨日の昼にマリアが魔女を名乗る女から受け取ったつまり昨日の昼から今朝方ローザおばさんが会場するまでこ
we thought that we had figured something out after hearing about that weird magic circle in the history of the chapel. That had all been a worthless problem. From midday yesterday until this morning, this chapel had been a locked room. But our parents had been with us until last night. How had the culprit opened the store? And how had they locked it? Golden Sneer. <笑>また見つかよ。魔法の力で鍵を開けたんだと、そう言いたいのか。馬鹿にするんじゃねえ。我らの力で鍵を開けるところを見せろというなら、見せてもよい。しかし、それではそなたを屈服させたことにはなら
魔法でなくても実行可能さ何しろ隠し扉なんだからよこの礼拝堂だって操作発見不能な隠し扉がどうせあるんだだから推理なんてする必要もなく魔法なんかありえないってわけさほうほうそういう論法か<笑>甘いな想定していた一手だぞならばわらわも受け手を指そうわらわは人間風情の推理小説とやらに出てくる密室というものを常々バカバカしいと思っているなぜか使い方が間違っているからよ推理小説に登場する密室をお前は本当に密室だと思っているのか思ってなどいまいどういうトリックを使えば密室に見せかけられるかそう思っているつまり人間どもが積み重ねた100年の密室殺人などただの一度も完成されたことはないのだヒューヒューじゃねえかよ推理マニアは怖えぞクリスティが墓の下で歯ぎしりしてるぜクリスティ<笑>だがわらわは違うわらわは本当の密室を生み出しているそしてそれを立証できるのだなぜかわらわは魔女だからよ悪魔の証明は悪魔を連れてくれば証明できるのだったなならば好都合魔女にとって悪魔は良き友よいくらでも連れてきてやる Well, you bring all 72, 73s. How many、um, demons were there again? I think it was 72. Joto does it! Oyaji Tachiwa, Kakshitobira, or Scatter, Lay Hido, and Haita, Aruiva, Hakobi Komarata. Come it to Omae, what do you call us to me, Sir Tendaya? Koda. Say she was still. 6人は確かに扉から入ったはあバカ野郎鍵がかかってんだぞどうやってエクストラキーわらわが魔法で開けて中へいざなったそんなわけねえだろ魔法なんて認められねえ以上そいつを受け入れるわけにはいかねえお前は嘘をついているあの扉は何かのインチキで開くんだあるいは隠し扉があるんだそのどちらかしか認めねえパーペチュアルチェスでは千日手をこう呼ぶ互いが相手の根拠を否定し合い議論が進まないのもわらわたちのゲームでは千日手に同じ。多くのゲームではこれを引き分けに定めるがこれでは今日遅がれることはなはだしいわらわたちに引き分けはないいわくそなたがわらわを認め屈服するか否かそれについてだけは同感だぜお前のお望み通り決着はきっちりつける<笑>その心意気や容姿そこでわらわは考えたわらわとそなたのゲームに新しいルールを追加しようと思うオーガンショート No.600 million in I still don't know the full name of the song 新しいルールどうせお前が有利になるルールなんだろうまさかまさかそなたらが求めてやまなかったものを与えようというのだ貴様ら無能どもがいつも嘆いてみせる思考停止の理由情報不足
査してそれに対し情報を与えると今度はその情報の真偽を疑う根拠否定便利よな無能を棚上げする実に小気味よい言葉よこの便利な言い訳をわらわは取り去ってやろうというので感謝するがよい<笑>扉から入ったというお前に対し俺はそんなはずはないと否定したその否定が逃げ工場だと言いたいのかそうだだからわらわはこれより真実を語るまで赤を使うことにする OKThat's、okay. clever So does that also mean In the Umineko no Nakakor ni logo, the na is the truth. What does the na. Wait, okay, hold on. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta see something. This is stupid mode going on. This is stupid go going on, but I, I need to know. Na in Japanese. There's multiple meanings of na, so I have to figure out the correct na meaning. Okay. Alright, alright. I'm going off the hiragana character. Maybe, no. Hold on, hold on. I could actually. You know what? Big brain, big brain. Get one of my Japanese volumes of the Higurashi manga. Get one of the volumes of the Higurashi manga.、Uh, okay, I'll just go with.、Um, okay, I'll go with、um, Matsuri Bayashi volume one. Alright, so it is the Hiragana Na. Yeah, it's the Hiragana Na. And it's also rad for Higurashi, so maybe this might be like one of the connections between Higurashi and、uh, Umineko, the Na in their name, because the Na is in red, meaning that is the truth. As an interjection,、uh, it can be used to get someone's attention, and as a particle, it's indicating emotion or emphasis. Maybe. I could be totally misinterpreting the、um, purpose of the. Red of the Umineko no Nakukori ni, but alright, when you speak the truth, you do use red. And in the title of the game, and in the title of the of any part of the Ilan May Cry series, the na is in red, so that, does that mean that's the truth as well, Rikishi? Or I'm looking too much into things. What do you think? わらわがどのような魔法の一手を仕掛けようともそなたには常に情報不足や根拠否定を繰り返すことで永遠と逃げ続けることができるこれでは最終的にわらわが勝つことが変わらぬとしてもあまりに退屈を極めるそのためわらわはそなたが望む情報と根拠を与えてやろうと思うしかしそなたはわらわの言葉一つ一つを疑ってかかるだろうそれ自体は悪いことではないわらわもそなたを屈服させるためにあらゆる手を指す互いに最前提を探り合うその姿勢は嫌いではないしかしそれではゲームにもならんだからこのルールを設けた、うん、わらわが赤で語ることは全て真実ウェイこれなオッケー I thought there would be something in the menu that says each and every one of the red red、uh, red truce I guess I guess that's what we can call it. Red truce. Or just truce in general. Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. So, I'm going to go to the game. I'm going to go to the game. I'm going to go to the game. The game is a rule. それを軽んじる者に参加の資格はないよーし乗ったぜ受けてやるぞそのルール I'll hesitantly agree to this 
I'll have to tend to you agree to this. Mizukakeron ya agiashi tori nante, shougaku sei demo dekiru ze. Nara sasoku saikai shi yo janai ka. Sakki no tsuzuki da ze. Mou ichi to kuri karesu. Oyaji tachi wa kakushi tobira o tsukatte reihai dou ni haitta. Arui wa hakobi komareta. Naraba wara wa mo kuri karesu o ze. Seishi wa sete o ku. Which leads to the other key. So, so no shoko wa aru no ka yo. Stop. Rule o hosoku suru. Wara wa wa shinjit o kataru toki ni aka o tsukau ga. Sore ni taishi shoko o shimeshite rishou suru gimu o owanai. But shouldn't you pr show proof, even though it is the truth? I'm gonna believe it's the truth. Like I'm gonna be the benefit of the doubt, and I'm gonna say what she's saying is true. But I don't like how she's not showing proof about her statements. But that leads to more of the mystery of should I believe the right truth or not? わらわは全ての犯行を魔法で行う。だからどんな不可能犯罪もお前の目の前で魔法の杖を振るってみせれば済んでしまう。しかしそれではゲームにならない。チェスを指しながら勝敗を無視して相手に殴りかかる蛮
she now has all the magic she can use for this current situation. She can use whatever magic she wants now because she's allowed to because it can work in this second scenario. Though I am also going to toy with the idea of trying to figure out how else this door could have been opened. But I think this door could have been opened because in this scenario, her magic can work. So in a sense, she is saying the truth, but I never said, well actually, no, I did say that she used her magic, but why does someone else use their magic? Ha ha ha! I don't think Be Beatrice is the only magical being. Cannon can use magic as well, and so can the stakes. Who can say, who can deny the possibility of Shannon, Genji, and Kumasawa having some sort of magic of their own? Hell, even Goda could use that magic himself, probably. Well, magic. Magic. Alright, let's continue on. Let's continue on before I keep on spouting stuff, because... yeah. もっとも魔法の力では開けられるがな。じゃあこうだ。扉自体がおかしかったんだ。施錠された状態のままでも通行できる仕掛けがあった。それが何かはいろいろ考えられる。お城の大扉に小さい入り口がついているように、さらにも
So I can't win against the witch! This isn't chess at all. I've just been made to take the losing side of in, the, in a chess problem. Is quibbling about details and getting a draw the best I can do? それだけは断じてないぞ。わらわが屈するか。そなたが屈するか。それ以外の決着はない。互いへの災波と例えた。あの時の勇ましさはどこに？おいおいおいおい、がっかりがっかりきたよ。外れたぞ。後ろ見や
ターアガンマーチナその鍵が本当に昨日の昼前からマリアの手に渡っていたのかどうかだ<笑>長いなかいつまむがよいこういうことさ俺たちは鍵が昨日の昼から使用不能だと思い込んでいるだから昨日の昼から今朝まで密室だと思い込んでるそれを思い込みじゃなくあんたにはっきり事実だと宣言してもらいたいのさ面白い扉ではなく鍵を論点にしたかマリアは昨日お前から封筒をもらってるマリアは開封しなかったが手触りで鍵が入っていたことを知ったかもしれないだが間違いなく礼拝堂の鍵だと確認できたわけじゃないつまりこういうことさマリアに渡した封筒の中身は偽物だったんだ何を言い出すかと思えばバカバカしいローザは今朝確かにマリアの手提げの中から封筒を取り出しそこから正真正銘の礼拝堂の鍵を手に入れたぞ But hold on What's if that key was switch the letters were switch why is it the letters were switch without anyone noticing during the middle of the night someone could have switched them though they would have to be very sneaky not to wake up the others and a servant could have easily snuck in and out without disturbing their guest even though it would be rude to enter their room But if they did, they could probably make it so they would go unnoticed they sneak in and switch the letters. And also, in the truth, this morning Rosa definitely took an envelope out of Maria's handbag and from that obtained the genuine key to the chapel. This morning, Rosa definitely took an envelope out of Maria's handbag, and from that attained the genuine key to the chapel. You never. You have not said yet. You have not said yet. It was the same envelope you had given to her earlier. Hey. So, I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. その中身は間違いなく同じ礼拝堂の鍵だったのか、oh. つまりこういうことさお前は昨日の昼マリアに鍵入りの封筒を渡した決して開くなと言い含めてマリアは中に鍵があることを悟ったろうそして後にローザおばさんがその中身で礼拝堂の扉を開けたためそれは礼拝堂の鍵だったということになった疑わしいのはここさこう言いたいわけかわらわがマリアに鍵を預けた時点ではその鍵は偽物だったとそしてローザが鍵を手にするまでの間に本物とすり替えたと。Can you confirm or deny that? Let's hear it! Be a t r e a t y ああ、そうだ。どうしたベアトリーチェ様よ。Oh, I should probably say the BE more. Yeah, I keep on saying the BI, damn it. さっきから調子が悪そうだぜ。And also, I'm going to use both Beatrice and、um, Beatrice as pronunciation. I just give it up at this point. Stasimono are Beato to your Bukoto Moar. Beato de Oi. Beato no Tebanda, eh? Was that directed to me or Batler? Town of the Golden Witch. And there's a main drop. Kawas Temizero. よかろうわらわがマリアに預けた封筒の中身は確かに礼拝堂の鍵だったそ
全然ダメだオブゼン赤で復唱できるかその封筒はローザおばさんが開封するまで完全にマリアの監視下に置かれていたおお Now that is the catch. 無理なら拒否を宣言してもらうぜチェックだ拒否するこれで一手差はひっくり返ったぜ今度はお前がキングを逃がす番だなベアート<笑>拒否に理由はあるそれはそなたの言う「監視下」という単語の定義についてだ純粋な意味に従うならばそれは四六時中マリアによって見張られてなければならない okay, someone's grabs the astronauts now. だがマリアはそこまではしていない手提げから出していた時は完全に監視下にあっただろうが手提げに入れた後は視界から消えるその意味において「監視下」という単語が適当でないため赤が使えなかっただけだ Okay that is the true meaning of that word so I'm gonna have to agree with、um, Beto with this one But she does seem to be struggling a little bit And I have one for you now the literal meaning of words so I'm not gonna doubt Beto just yet. I'm sorry, I'm using the Beto name because she asked. She, she might have asked Balor, she might have asked me. She was probably asking Balor, but I'm gonna interpret it as she was talking to me. Crucite <laughs> nando. Ore no tsugi no temo yome te rit te kao da ze. Varina. Ore wa onna ni a s a s h i n da. Onna o kizu tsuke nai. 女の期待を裏切らない赤で負傷してもらうぜ言えるもんなら言ってみやがれマリアの手下げはローザおばさんが封筒を取り出すまで誰も触れることができなかった<音声>これも拒否する理由は説明しない違うぜ説明しないんじゃないできないんだその手でチェックメイトなんだろう<笑>お前にできないなら俺が説明してやる Dread of the Grave お前がマリアに渡した封筒には確かに礼拝堂の鍵が入っていたそしてマリアはこれを手提げにしまい翌朝にローザおばさんがここから取り出して鍵を開けたしかしマリアは手提げを完全な監視下に置けなかった魔法なんか必要ない人間に可能なミスツトリックだ人間である犯人はマリアに鍵を渡し翌朝ローザおばさんに使わせることでその缶が密室であったかのような幻想を作り上げたんだお前はその缶マリアの手提げの中から犯人が鍵を取り出し使用して朝までに手提げに戻した可能性を否定できない赤で言えるか副所要求言えるもんなら言ってみやがれもう一度チェックだままだだチェックを外す鍵の入った封筒は風呂で封印されていたはずローザは未開封の封筒からそうかいなら行ってみやがれ苦笑要求昨日の昼の時点で渡した封筒とローザおばさんが開封した封筒は同一のものであるそれは復唱できるワラーがマリアに渡した封筒とローザが開封した封筒は同一のものであるぞふあ<笑>あ,あ,あ,あダ
メだぜ全然ダメだそんなのもうどうでもいいことだろうが I believe I should because that's an important clue 俺は期待したぜここで降参したなら少しは読めてるやつだと思っただからがっかりだあんた俺の期待を裏切ったぜが同じものなんて大したことじゃないウーローなんて何度でも打てるんだしなああ中身の鍵だろ大事なのは<笑>これで今度こそしまいだぜ黄金の魔女本当のチェックメイトだもう一度求めるぜ副賞要求だ言えるもんなら言ってみやがれマリアが受け取った封筒の中の礼拝堂の鍵はローザおばさんが開封するまで一度も使用されていない What's with this is in red though? <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>うわわらわが人間不正に何とでも繰り返すぜベアトリーチャー副賞要求マリアが受け取った封筒の中の礼拝堂の鍵はローザおばさんが開封するまで一度も使用されていない<笑><笑>吠えるならば口にしろリザインだったなこれで決まりだぜこれが真相だマリアの鍵はローザおばさんが今朝手に入れるまでの間に一度何者かの手に渡ったんだそして鍵を使用して風呂をしあたかも未使用であるかのように見せかけてマリアの手下げに戻したんだ風呂が解かれていないから鍵が未使用であるという思い込みが盲点の安っぽいトリックだったんだチェックメイト魔法なんかじゃない人間に可能なトリックに過ぎないな,ならばその鍵を奪ったのは誰だというのか答えてみせろお前が今度は復唱してみせろそうだなお前にばかり復唱させたたまには俺が答えなきゃならないだろうぜだが拒否する俺の勝利条件は魔女の存在を否定することだぜ貴様の魔法による不可能犯罪を人間の手でも可能であることを証明するところまで俺はお前の密室を人間にも可能だと打ち破っただがだから誰が犯人だと具体的に追及はしないなぜなら俺は人間を信じてるからだ俺たちの中にマリアから鍵を奪いそれを使ってあんなひでえことをしてのける人間がいるなんて断じて認めないからだ And this is where I have to disagree with you, Battler. Alright, so. Fowler, I believe one of you all had to have done that because I don't believe there is another person on the island other than U18. Well, 19, 17, I don't know. But I believe it's one of the people on the island that you know of who's behind all this. That's why I'm going to have to disagree with you, Fowler. Though, as of right now, I have, sus I have suspicions to who the culprit may be. But, but, I'm gonna let the game play out. Cosanda, design. 
この盤面についてだけは一度降参しようだがやはりお前は甘いなバトラー捨てゼリフは敗者の特権だぜ好きに楽しめよ<笑>わらわの存在を否定し続ける以上そなたはやがて追い詰められることになるぞ何しろわらわを否定する以上そなたの愛してやまない親族たちを疑うことにならざるを得ないのだからなそなたは愛しいものを疑わざるを得ない最後の瞬間わらわの存在を必ず認めるだろう<笑>確かにこの盤面だけはそなたに取られたしかしその差し筋の甘さは必ず身を滅ぼすぞお前はやはりわらわには勝てぬのだ後ろ宮バトラー I'm starting to love every time she says his name like that And that's the end of this chapter of Uminako no Nakukorni, Rondo the Witch and Reasoning. Also, that midnight's in red. Hmm. Okay, okay.